Hi, Bruce from Safari. We're about to go aboard this Privilege 515, you can see here, about to go up to the Sundays, and we're gonna meet uh, Will here and have a chat to him about the system we've put on this boat. Hi, Will, how are you today? Hey, Bruce, very well, yourself? Now, you've got a lot of power on this boat, Will, and uh, we tailored it to your requirements. Tell us why you wanted it this way. I, I think the, the big thing for us, after living aboard for, for a year, we found ourselves running the gen set all day. It was very stressful, it disrupted our life. So, you know, that was number one. And then the other one was, uh, you know, making sure we had a really redundant system that if we switched out, you know, from running the gen set that we have, could have confidence in. Energy, you've got two sources of replenishment energy. You've got solar, you've got Scotty, you've got a lot of efficiency there. How important was that to you? You know, we can go, you know, if the weather's good, indefinitely off solar. And, you know, when we're motoring between anchorages, you know, we've got the high-powered alternator there just to top it up, which is fantastic. When you look at that, it's 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 a it's a really good, simple design, and and something that we didn't touch on before, but it's just how simple it is, and it always hit sort of our we call it sort of our key requirements, which was simple, it had to be redundant, and they had to be in isolation. And I think what was so unique about the the solution that you gave us was that we could keep our 12 volts. You could walk on the boat, and you wouldn't know it's 48 volt. And I think that's. Simplicity is, is just beautiful. You know, we can run our induction at night. We don't need to worry about putting the gen set on there and you know, we can run the aircon. Very good. Hi Will, now having tested for redundancy, what are your thoughts? Uh, superb Bruce. Uh, and you know, I think the big thing for us when lightning comes, we want to isolate the 48 volt system and then we can move to our redundant 12 volt systems, which I'll show in a second. But quickly down here, we can actually pull off um, the 48 volt uh, cables. They're quick connects straight off the batteries. We can disconnect the can as well. Um, and then right at that point, we're motoring on 12 volt. And we've got the redundant Scotties in this situation. So we've got, and being able to rely on that alternator and run the boat like normal um, is fantastic. Yes, yeah, so we originally did uh, the 48 volt charging with the alternators that had external regulation like uh, wake speed 500. Mm -hmm. And we went away from that because uh, we got more power out of the Scotty at idle. And secondly, you don't have the flexibility and the redundancy. And it's the redundancy that's uh, really important when you're doing a uh, around the world trip. Thank you, Will. And so one of the other things we've got on Scotty is this display here, which can be on the helm station and uh, Will's chosen to have it down here in the saloon but it shows you the alternator temperature, the power coming out, the engines are off at the moment, and it's on this dial that you can set um, off, soft, medium, or hard um, for Scotty, and it's part of our AI uh, pattern. Now, while we're down here, this clutter here of tank senders, uh, if you come and visit us at Metz Trade, we will show you our new phase coherent radar, perfect for black water, very accurate to two and a half millimeters, and just have a look at this clutter here. All of that would disappear with the phase coherent radar, and it'll appear in the Victron system on 0 to 5 volt output, or it'll be in CAN, or it'll be on Bluetooth. Very good, Well, thank you very much. Now we're going to be, for the viewers, we're gonna be at Metz Trade 2023 this year, November the 15th to the 17th. We've got a stand in the back of Hall 12. We're gonna have uh, the products and the designs that we do on display there. Will, thank you very much. My pleasure, Bruce, thank you. Right. Now the starboard rear cabin is normally two single bunks in this uh, 515, <laughs> but just check this out, right? This is what I call a workshop. Now, Will, why have you built the workshop in here like this? Oh, I think, you know, when you're doing a lot of offshore cruising, things inevitably, you know, need maintenance. And, um, you know, having a space where at the end of the day, you know, tools have got spaces, they're easy to access. Um, you know, it, it keeps uh, my better half sane, so things aren't uh, all over the cabin upstairs. And, uh, you know, I think it's a good idea. Just beautiful, Will, just beautiful. How good's that? What Will's done here is, yes, there's the tender elevated up and uh, a great attention to detail that he's done. He's got the barbecue back. Here's the solar that Will put up. Uh, we worked with him on this, of course, and just look at the lining on the inside of this, the white uh, uh, polyester material that he's got on there. And there's the clears that come down. And here's another view of the solar. I'll just hold it up. We've got up here six 400 watt solar panels. Uh, we have Starlink on either side here. And this framework was all built to mount for the solar and uh, as a key form of power. And we've also got the uh, Copperflex here, 
these thin ones mounted there's 720 watts of those mounted around the boat and they're all mounted with the DC to DC for solar so if you shade one it doesn't affect the others at all so for replenishment power there's the Yanmar engine down there there's our Scotty that's 3000 watts it'll take a full 250 amps out of the upgraded 250 amp alternator on the Yanmar and one of the problems when we go to the bigger alternator it's an eight pole we're taking off the Yanmar six pole so the uh, rev counter up on the helm station uh, will not be accurate but Safari we make a pulse regenerator and we regenerate the pulses so that the RPM matches the eight pole um, alternator. Uh, in the starboard side we left the Yanmar um, alternator intact and we've got another Scotty 3000 but we fitted it up in the saloon and it's what I call asymmetric. Let's go and have a look. Now we're in the saloon here and what's important to note is that we do an overlay over the 12 volts so that we don't disturb the 12 volt system. So the 12 volt system is all master volt, that's all in here and then we've added the 48 volt over the top and then we've added a Scotty in here on this side. I'm going to explain that in a minute. So we're using these Lynx distributors going out and they're going into the batteries and then the batteries are fitted in this locker here so we've got four batteries down there and we've got four batteries um, opposing them here underneath that you can see they're 48 volt they're uh, 200 amp out 2.4 kilowatts each so in the eight that we've got here we've got a total of just on uh, 20 kilowatt hours now what's interesting is this scotty down here it's what i call asymmetric it's linked to the uh, starboard alternator, which is the original one, but we've set it to deliver huge power from 48 to 12. It can be up to three kilowatts on this boat. So this will cut in, deliver three kilowatts on the 12 volt side from the 48 volt side in a heartbeat. And I think that's simplicity is, is just beautiful. You can come here and you go, wow, this is a privilege. It's like, you know, okay, you've got all the, the normal sort of limitations with, uh, with cruising and you know, we, we sort of have a, a chuckle and go, no, we, we, we do actually are, you know, we can run our induction at night. We don't need to worry about putting the gen set on there and, you know, we can run the aircon. Will, thank you very much. My pleasure, Bruce. Thank you. How good's that?